Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Macau's Recipe. Today I'm using my Instant Pot to make pho. I like to use this recipe for when I am on a time crunch or when I'm feeling super lazy and just want something easy yet fulfilling. So let's start and make some pho together. First, plug in your Instant Pots and fill the pot with water, depending on the size of your pot. My pot takes about 4.5 liters, so today I will be filling it up to about 3 liters. To make the broth, you will need 2 pounds of beef neck bones, 2 pounds of oxtail, half an onion, 2 ginger, 2-3 to three pieces of star anise, also optional is you can add daikon, roasted onion, ginger, and garlic. But for the sake of being on a time crunch, I will skip roasting the onion, ginger, and garlic today. To make our pho really instant, I will be using two types of um, beef flavoring soup base. The first one I will be using is called beef flavor pho soup base. I will be using two tablespoons of this. Our second seasoning is um, instant beef broth bouillon. I will be using three tablespoons. And lastly, I am adding two tablespoons of fish sauce. Our next step is to close and seal the instant pots. Um, for my pot, the way I can tell that my pot is sealed correctly is that the two arrows are aligned together. Also, I forgot to record this step, but on your instant pot lid, there should be a little nozzle on top. Make sure that your nozzle is turned on to sealing. After you have sealed your instant pots, our next step is to select the cooking process. The buttons on your instant pot varies. For my instant pots, I will be selecting the beef and stew option today. This cooking process takes about 5 to 10 minutes to warm up and 30 minutes to cook. So our next step is very crucial. You have two options. One is to allow the pressure cooker um, release its pressure naturally. Or two, you can actually put oven mints on and use a spoon to um, turn or push the little nozzle on top of the lid to the venting side. If you do decide to do this, please make sure you do not use your hands because um, you can get burned while doing this by the steam. Another thing to know is the floating valve located on the lid. If you notice that the floating valve has dropped, it means that it's safe to open. But if you notice that the floating valve is still popped up, that means that the pot is still pressurized and it's not safe to open. I have attached a photo I found on Google for your reference. This step is um, totally optional, but for me, I like to scoop the excess oil that is located and floating on top of the broth out so that way my broth is a lot clearer and much more thinner. To dress the pho, you will need rice noodles, bean sprouts, thinly sliced yellow onions, Thai basil, um, green onions and cilantro, and optional is adding in jalapenos or serrano peppers, slice of lime or lemon juice, and I also like to add cooked beef meatballs into my pho as well as adding some of the meats from the broth that we used earlier. Ladle the pho broth into your bowl and add your condiments. For my condiments, I will be using um, black pepper, a dash of fish sauce, sriracha, poison sauce, and chili oil. Thank you guys so much for tuning into today's episode. I hope you guys learned something new today. Um, if you do give this recipe a try, let me know how you like it down below. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channels for more videos like this. See you next time.